anything from wooden wheels. When you rode down the road, it'd be boom, 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 boom. Almost everyone that comes in here, they have found their childhood bike that they had as a kid. How's the suspension on it? Probably buy a bike uh, one every three days or so. I'm always buying something uh, and parts and things like that. Hi, I'm Craig Morrow. We're at Bicycle Heaven. We're located on the north side, and this is the world's largest bike shop museum. Uh, there's over 3,200 bikes, something like that, last count. I started collecting about 30 years ago. I started out of a little garage in an alleyway with one bike. This is the only place in the world where you would see four Bowden Space Landers in one place. They were designed by Benjamin Bowden, who designed these and they were made in the USA. Uh, these were designed in the 1940s. They're the uh, first all fiberglass bicycles and they don't have a metal frame inside. And they're really uh, Art Deco uh, unique bicycles and they're uh, a dream bike uh, for any bicycle collector. And there's, uh, I think there was 520 or so made and um, we have 17 out of the maybe 30 known. Uh, when I first started, I couldn't find one for years and years. And this is probably the cleanest, most original Bowden Space Lander in the world. This bicycle here is called a bone shaker. Uh, all wooden frame, wooden brakes, usually had a leather seat on it. Uh, it has regular hubs on it, wooden fenders. And the unique thing about this bone shaker is when you push on the handlebars, it would cause the front brake to push down on the front wheel and the back part here would rub up against the back wheel. This bicycle here is called a swing bicycle. It's a really unique trick bike. Um, you could ride it like a regular bicycle or you could do tricks going like this. And what I used to do when I was a kid, I would ride the, the front wheel down on the street and the back wheel up on the sidewalk. We call this the butt bicycle. But anyways, um, and when you go down the road, it will go down like this. A really unique bicycle. Well, this is the bicycle tree, and this is something that a lot of people like. Um, it's really unique, and this was found in a farm in Ohio. And what a lot of farmers did back in the days, um, when they were done with their bikes and junk and things like that, they just threw them out on the field. And um, what happened with this is the bikes were laying on the ground, and the trees grew up, and it pulled the bikes right into the tree. This one here is a Schwinn from the 1960s and the other one is a Dayton bicycle from the 1930s. I just wanted to make it fun here too. I thought, well, a train would be cool. So we, you know, build a train that goes all the way around the shop. It's uh, 400 yards long, and it's a large G-scale train suspended from the ceiling. And it goes right through some of the bikes, so it's pretty cool. Something I always wanted and never had when I was a kid, so I made a train. Sorry. And when people come in, the uh, first thing they go is, wow, you know. And the first thing they do is they want to run over and try to find the bike they had when they were a kid. A lot of the things here go back to my childhood. Yeah, it takes you back, remembering when you were a kid and just riding the bicycles and how much fun it was. It takes you back to being young the rivets. And I just remember trying to ride the bike on the hills in Pittsburgh. That was always a challenge. You ever hear the saying, uh, you know, he's on the rivet, meaning you're pushing yourself as hard as you can? Well, the reason for that saying is there used to be rivets across, and when you were sitting all the way at the end of the saddle, you were on the rivet, so you were pushing yourself as hard as you could. When we get people right off the bike trail, which is right behind our building, then I started renting bicycles on the bike trail because people wanted to ride some of the old bikes and maybe new bikes. And it's the Pee Wee Herman bike. Everybody knew the movie. This is a Schwinn bicycle that, you know, of course, that they custom built. The saddle bags, the fins, and the, everyone knows the famous lion on the front of the bike. See, there's no chain. Um, a lot of these bikes that I found when I first started were uh, bikes I found in the junk. So I would put them back together and bring them back to life and a lot of people would come in and say, you know, your place is sort of like heaven. And that's where the bikes go when they die. Yeah.